A warm welcome to everyone who has joined us for worship today. In the service, you will need to light a candle in memory of or in thanksgiving for someone. And we will need that later in the service. So if you don't have a candle, now is a good time to run and get one. Let us join in the call to worship. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The word became flesh and lived among us, full of grace and truth. In him was life and that life was the light of all. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has never been able to extinguish it. Then your light will break forth like the dawn. And your healing will spring up quickly the Lord will always be with you to save you. God's presence will protect us on every side. When you call, the Lord will answer. When we call for help, God will say, I am here. For him, silent night. Let us pray. We have gathered here this night because we long for you to come to us, to save us, to comfort us, to bring us peace. As we approach the day when we celebrate the birth of Jesus, we grow in our awareness that we need you. 
In this silence, we bring our grief, our pains, our disappointments, our fears, and the chaos of our world. Wow. And we lay all that before you in this time of worship. As Jesus embodied your love for the world and became God with us, so now this night we pray that you would again come, O come, Emmanuel. Amen. Amen. The scripture reading comes to us from Psalm 121, verses 1 to 8. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Let us pray. Loving God, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be pleasing in your sight. For you, O oh God, are our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Psalm 121 was written as words of encouragement to pilgrims as they prepared to travel the roads to Jerusalem. This psalm was sung as people ascended the hill. And in that sense, it worked as a motivator. This psalm was written to remind us on our faith journey. When we get to that part of the journey, when we feel our knees growing weak, and when we are surrounded by grief and we realize we need external help to get through to a better place. In those times, we are encouraged to remember with faith that we are not alone that our help comes from the Lord, the one who made heaven and earth. We are reminded to remember with faith and take comfort in the fact that if that, that same creative power that went into the creation of heaven and earth is available to aid us on the journey, making a way where there seems to be no way, holding us up, when we feel our foot slipping. Remember with faith that God does not slumber or sleep so we can rest assured of God's protection, standing guard and providing care as we sleep, even attending to matters of which we are unaware. Remember with faith that on this journey, though we will face harsh conditions, that God provides a shield, preventing us from experiencing the full intensity of these conditions. Remember with faith that God is concerned with our total lives, not just our spiritual lives. Our souls are preserved but we are also accompanied in our going out and our coming in. And when life gets difficult and we find the support and comfort we have in our faith, call for help when you need it. In this Christmas season, call for help. Lord, help me find hope. Call for help. Lord, help me find peace. Call for help. Lord, help me find joy. Call for help. Lord, help me find love. Remember, whatever you are going through and will go through, you have help. 
call for help. Amen. Our song, My Help.
Tonight, as we light the Advent candles, we will contemplate the five themes of the Advent wreath with winter from Vivaldi's Four Seasons. light the candle of hope as we await the coming of Jesus who is the source of hope. We give thanks for the gift of hope in a time of despair. We light the candle of joy knowing that our comfort and help come from God. We give thanks for the gift of joy in time of sadness. We light the candle of love knowing that God is love revealed to us in Jesus Christ. We give thanks for the gift of love in a time of loneliness. We light the candle of peace, knowing that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. We give thanks for the gift of peace in times of uncertainty. And we light the Christ candle, knowing that Jesus is the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not overcome it. It is better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. All who wish may come forward and place a candle right at the front of the steps there in memory of someone in prayer or as a sign of hope and faith. And for those at home, you're invited to light your candle and say the name or concern of the person that you are thinking of. I light this candle in gratitude for, or I light this candle to remember. So I light this candle in memory of my dad, my friend Lynn, and Aretha.
For prayers of the people, Mary, did you know? your baby boy will someday walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make us new? The child that you deliver will soon your baby boy will give sight to a blind man. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storms with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? When you kiss the little baby, you've kissed the face of God. your baby boy will one day rule the nation. Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect lamb? The sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. Let us pray. Mary could not have imagined what her journey would have been as Jesus' mother. In her song, she gives thanks for God's grace with the knowledge that Jesus was the answer to the prayers of salvation echoed through the ages. She too would come to know loss and grief as she watched Jesus become the savior of the world. Remembering God's promise kept her strong. Faithful God, give us strength like Mary to hold fast to your promise in these times of grief. Gracious God, we thank you for those we love and who loved us. We are grateful that they were part of our lives. We pray that nothing good in their lives will be lost, but will be of benefit to the world that all that was important to them would be honored by those who follow. We thank you for the friendship they gave and for the strength and peace they brought. We thank you for the love they offered and received in life. We thank you that in Christ we are forgiven for those times when we failed those we love in word and by our actions. We ask for healing of those deep wounds for the times when our trust was betrayed or when we felt abandoned or we were angry. We ask that through our family and friends, through our hearts and our minds, in our courage and our consciousness, that which needs to be set aside, forgiven and forgotten, 
can be released and redeemed by your grace. We pray for ourselves who are tested by sorrow and the changes that have happened in our lives, that we do not try to minimize our loss or seek refuge from it in words alone, nor brood over it so that it overwhelms us and isolates us from each other. God, grant us courage and confidence in the new life that you have promised. We ask these prayers in the name of the risen Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Our closing song, There is Still Joy. I brought my tree down to the shore, the garland and the silver star, to find my peace and grieve no more, to heal this place inside my heart on every I laid some bread and hungry birds filled up the sky they rang like bells around my head they sang my spirit back to life one tiny child can change the shining light can show the way through all my tears for what I've lost there's still my joy there's still my joy for Christmas Day the snow down on empty sand there's tinsel moonlight on the waves my soul was lost but here I am so this must be amazing grace one tiny child can change shining light can show the way beyond these tears for what I've lost there's still my joy there's still my joy for Christmas Day one tiny child can change the shining light can show the way beyond these tears for what I've lost there's still my joy there's still my joy for Christmas Day still my joy for Christmas Day. 
received the benediction. The light has splintered the darkness. The light has splintered the shadows. Hope is ours once more, and there is still joy. The light calls us forward as we remember the past and walk confidently into the future. Remember with faith. Go from this place filled with peace and love. God's gift to us all. Amen.